Round two, y'all. Hey everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. So, sometimes in life you gotta roll with the flow. I literally just sat down to start editing my video just a couple minutes ago. And all of a sudden some error message popped up. And then all of my files for today's video were gone. 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 Love that. So, I was like, OMG. I really want to get a video up today. I don't want to miss an upload day, even though I'm going to definitely miss the upload time. <laughs> I didn't want to miss an upload. I was like, you know what? Something I keep saying I'm going to film, I'm going to film, I'm going to film, I'm going to film, and then I haven't is my makeup collection. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today before we dive on into that. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. I would seriously love to have you be a part of the family. And I want to thank you guys so much for giving me so much love on my last video where I shared some important life updates with you guys. You guys are so kind and so uplifting and so caring and I really, really appreciate it. I have the best subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. You keep me motivated when sometimes I don't want to be motivated. You guys seriously make everything better. So thank you so much for all your kind feedback on that video. So I'm going to stop rambling now and let's just get into the tour. Since this was impromptu, I did no cleaning before this. So bear with me if my countertops look a little dirty. But honestly, th things I feel like are pretty fairly organized until we get to the closet. So let's just do a little walk around. We just have a little file cabinet over here for boring stuff. Then on top, I do have some decorations, some faux lavender. My wonderful friend Stacy made these for me. I'm absolutely obsessed. How cute. Am I not the luckiest to have the sweetest friends that she made this? She made this for me. Then over here, I call it like kind of a memory corner. I have my mom's sunglasses, a picture and a frame um, with my mom in it with a saying that says, when someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. And then here is a perfume of my brother's mother, who was like my mom, and she also passed away, so that's her perfume there. I have these very old lamps that are actually not plugged in. There's not even a bulb in there, because I really don't need them for lighting. So I just think they're cute, and I don't want to get rid of them. I love the little flower detail. Over here is where I set my empties until I can snap a picture of them for an, upcom for an upcoming reverse rouge video. I just set them all over here to try to keep them kind of out of the way, kind of organized. We also use this area as like an office, even though we, re <laughs> we really don't use it very much. It's just kind of a place to store our printer, an extra laptop, envelopes, and then this portion is the actual beauty space. Over here I have a closet that is kind of a disaster. So I have just a tub of all my different hair tools. I know, fancy right? So fancy. <laughs> I keep all my sunglasses over here to try to keep them organized. I am a sunglasses aholic if you can't tell. But none of these probably cost over $10. Like I am not an expensive name brand sunglasses person because I break them, I lose them, I sit on them. Over here I have some decorations that I just didn't know where to put up, so they've just been sitting there for the last year. <laughs> I keep my fall boots in here. I wanted to get a stand for them and I've just never gotten around to it. Some hats. Keep my cute costume jewelry over here which this one is totally missing everything because we just took a trip and I haven't got stuff put back away yet. Up here we have some random little hair curlers that I, you guys, does anyone else fall for stuff? You walk by, you buy it, you don't really need it. You're like, I'm definitely going to use this and then you don't. Yeah, that's that corner right, right there. That's it. Then we have another little memory corner. Let's see if I can get you up there. Those are three pictures of three dogs that we had growing up and one that my husband and I had when we were first out of college. They've all passed away. And then we have Libby's ashes back there. She was the one who was hit by a car the day after her first birthday. It was terrible. So I keep that up there because I know it's safe. I know no one's going to be digging around in this closet because it's my space. So it's safe up there. And then random just storagey stuff. 
And then you guys, because I have a problem, <laughs> because I have a problem, I have two baskets of extra skincare, BoxyCharm, TJ Maxx. It's a problem. I'm probably good on skincare for like the next two years. It's true. If you want to see a my backup skincare stash, if you want to see what's in there, I'm kind of embarrassed, but if you want to see what's in there, just, just put it put it down below. Put it down below in the comment section. I'll share that with you, even though I'm kind of embarrassed. There, there's a lot of stuff in there. Then I keep just my random hair care and then my brush cleaner, which is that one right there. I keep rags down here. I always use a rag when I'm putting on my makeup to clean my brushes off in between. It is literally the best thing just to get rags that are cheap that you don't care about because they're dirty forever. Here I have my perfume collection. I'm obsessed with perfume. If you want me to dive into my perfumes more, what the scents mean to me, which ones I like a lot, let me know again down below. I am, I am open to sharing anything with you guys. Down there is a really cheap brush set I got from Amazon back when those oval brushes were so popular. I never use them, but I think they're so cute, I don't want to get rid of them, so I just leave them out as a decoration. And then I just have like random, like costume jewelry, bracelets, um, here, and also up here. Down on the bottom is nail polish, nail care, nail polish remover. You know, I try to be somewhat organized. I have a lot of crap, you guys. I have a lot of crap, so I try to be semi-organized. It's not perfect. It's not fancy. It's not perfect. But at least I know what's what. And over here, hanging, I just have a little jewelry holder for all my earrings. I love cheap earrings. You guys, nothing that I, I really don't have anything that's worth the value. It's just cutesy stuff. I love cutesy little cheap earrings. Down here, just some random stuff for filming, tripod, microphone, all that fun stuff. I wish I... Actually, I, I was going to say I wish I could say I... I had name brand stuff, but honestly, I don't care about name brands. I just, I don't, I don't care about it. I don't, I don't care. Maybe if I had a lot of money, I would care more, but I, I, part of me thinks I wouldn't. I really love a good deal. I like looking cute, but knowing I didn't spend a freaking fortune on everything. So most of these bags are from Walmart, Dollar General, TJ Maxx, Forever 21. They're just cute bags. And I got that holder from Walmart online. It's so handy. It's really nice that I have this area because our bathroom is so small. My husband and I share it. It's very, very small. And this just gives me a place to not clog up the whole house. Over here is just random little like headbands, combs, um, hair ties. Why I couldn't think of that word. Those little gloves to protect your hands when you're using a wand. Random little... There was a point in time where I thought about doing makeup like actually four people so I bought some of the, these things on Amazon and I've just never used them but they do come in handy once in a while when I'm doing friends makeup um, I can still grab some of that stuff then in here's just some receipts from stuff I've recently purchased on our va mini vacation face wipes and some little hair things so you can like make a faux bun this is what my bun looks like if I just use my hair those little fake things things they come in handy I swear in the year 2020 I'll have this video done my goodness now my camera's overheated I'm trying so hard to get a video done for you guys and fate just doesn't want me to do it okay now where did we leave off so over here I have like sparklies body sparklies by the way I'm obsessed with this cover effects glitter drops but only for the body for the face no way for the body super cute but you gotta like glitter because it's so glittery Fenty Body Lava, Sol de Janeiro, a face oil, because apparently I couldn't find anywhere else to put it. Sorry about the lighting. A little lipstick stand with a Sephora lipstick, a melted Too Faced lipstick from TJ Maxx, and the ColourPop. These little things, you guys, the Just a Tint, I'm obsessed with these. Then I have a cuticle oil. Duraline, which I haven't used yet, but when I do, I'm totally going to do a video on it. A pretty vulgar eyeliner that I also haven't used because I'm waiting to finish up my Wet n Wild. 
alcohol spray I put in this e.l.f. container to spritz on brushes or to spritz on makeup, just to sanitize anything that needs sanitized. Some little tools, some more lipsticks, same brands over here. Gosh, the lighting is so bad. So sorry. This Stila foundation mousse, you guys. I need to do an updated video about this. I'm, I'm, I was a fan at first, but over time, something's changed. This has gone downhill quickly. Some more lipsticks, LA Girl and Wet and Wild, LA Girl Wet and Wild. Then over here I have some more just little tools. I have two foundations by NYX. I love these Total Control Drops. Such a nice foundation and I have a darker one and a lighter one. I use these for mix-ins if a different foundation is too light or too dark. Some water for sponges, hand sanitizer. I think this is key to have in your room or in your beauty area. So important. Stick foundations and this little culprit right here because this one was leaking. This one was leaking in my foundation drawer, so I put it over here, and all has been well since. Over here, I have all of my Kathleen Lights Zodiac pigments. Did I go overboard by buying all of those? I did. I do really like them, but the only one I reach for a lot, a lot is this one here. Like, I could have just, I could have just got that one, just to be real with you guys. Could have stopped there. Then, lipstick collection, chapstick, a lipstick. A liquid eye, uh, eyeshadow. My fan. This, you guys, this is such a must for drying your makeup. A Iconic London eyebrow product we got in BoxyCharm. This is saving it for a rainy day. A lot of my products I don't open until I've used up another product like it. So that's, what, that's why this one's here and still on the box. All of my lip liners, random assortment of lipsticks. There's really not a whole method to this madness. It's just like, okay, sticks or little glosses up here. Big liquid lipsticks and glosses in the back. Eyeshadow primers, mascara, eyebrow, or eyelash comb, sharpener, brow pomade, lash adhesive. All the eyeliners. I really, I feel like I don't have a crazy amount of eyeliners. Uh, and an eyebrow product, which, what, why do I have that one up here and that one up there like that? That needs to get changed. That doesn't make sense to me. Down here is some more eyeshadow pigments, loose eyeshadows. This is another one of those things that I bought that I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to use this all the time. I think I've used it twice. You guys, learn from my mistakes, okay? You don't always have to buy the thing, the pretties you see at TJ Maxx, okay? You don't always have to do that. Love this liquid glitter liner. And then I did pick these up at TJ Maxx. Like, I didn't even learn, I didn't even learn from my own mistakes. But I couldn't pass these up. I love these Stila liquid eyeshadows and glitters. And I used up all my minis, so I was like, okay. Okay, for like a quarter of the price, sure thing. Over here in this little area is the products I'm focusing on using up, which is Born This Way, Flower, Flower, ColourPop. This is what I actually did a video on, so now I'm going to have to film it again because, yeah, yeah, you heard, it got deleted. ColourPop bronzer, all of my brushes. Again, if you guys want to see me break down any category of products, just let me know down below and I'll do that for you. Then um, the light setup, that's my lights. Concealers and powders. So this is everything I have. I feel like in YouTube world, my makeup collection is not extreme, but it's at a point where I don't want it to grow, so I really buy very little makeup anymore. I really want to focus on using things up. Like I add one or two things here or there. It's very rare though. I'm really trying to focus on using up some products. Cannot tell, I really do love the powders. And some of these products have not been opened, like this has not been opened. Again, I put things in here and a lot of them I wait to open until I've used something else. Primers, you guys. I have a ton of primers. I There was a point where I was kind of a primer-aholic. But recently, you guys, I don't know who I am, but recently I, I'm kind of like not using primers. I don't know who I am. I really don't know who I am because I was like the diehard, like absolutely primers are everything. But recently I'm kind of like maybe, maybe, maybe primers aren't that important. Maybe. Am I going to use these? Hell yeah. Definitely. Not going to waste them. 
Down here are beauty setting sprays. You guys, I'm addicted to setting sprays. Addicted. I literally, every time I do my makeup, I use a setting spray. I feel like they are a game changer. If you're going to pick between primers or setting sprays, go with the setting spray. I feel like it's such a game changer. This one is not even open. I haven't used it yet. I want to do a video on that, even though it came out like a long time ago. Not opened, haven't used it. Very excited to try it. Also have not used this one back here or this one. Or I don't I don't think I've used that one either. So yeah. In here are all of my bronzers and contour products. I will say I feel like we've gotten a lot of bronzer contour type products in BoxyCharm. So that's why I have so many that I haven't even used because I'm really trying to focus on using like one at a time, kind of trying to get through one before I move on to something else. So a lot of these haven't even been used. Like all three of these haven't even touched them yet. Blush. I have quite a few blushes. Again, a lot of this stuff comes in BoxyCharm. If you're really trying to fill up your collection without breaking the bank, BoxyCharm is the way to do it. I have gotten so many products in BoxyCharm. Also, I'm a big, like I said, TJ Maxx girl. Love TJ Maxx, love the drugstore. So there are ways to affordably fill up your collection. Like this is affordable, affordable. Got this in BoxyCharm, got that in BoxyCharm. Got that in BoxyCharm, 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 BoxyCharm. So there are ways to really stack and fill your collection without going crazy and going shopping constantly. Foundations, you guys, it's it's a problem. I'm obsessed with foundations. This is where I do, I was breaking the bank, you guys. I was going crazy. I There was there was like a solid six month period where I was like buying a new foundation every month because they're releasing so many products. Does anyone else feel like that? They're releasing so many and I couldn't resist. So I finally have told myself, no more foundations. That's why I'm trying to focus up on using some products up. No more, no more. No more. But I will gladly, if you see any foundations in here that you want me to feature, just let me know down below. I will do a dedicated video. So I've got Believe Beauty from Dollar General, Tarte, the original foundation, NARS, ELF. Um, what is this one called? I'm totally blanking. What in the heck? I cannot remember this for the life of me right now. Jouer, Clinique, Pacifica, Bare Minerals, It Cosmetics. Joa, Juvia's Place, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Makeup Revolution, LA Girl Pro, Catrice, some of these I haven't even opened yet, or I've only used one time, like, right now I'm trying to use up this Flower Beauty, and until I've really started focusing on one foundation alone, I didn't realize how long it takes to use one foundation. And then you already saw the stick foundations over here. So yes, I have a lot of foundation. Over here are all my highlighters. I'm obsessed with highlighters, you guys. But I, I'm kind of getting in this routine where I keep using the same products. I need to start having a little bit more variety so I can use some things up. But again, highlighters are one of those things that I feel like last forever. Like, it would probably take me the rest of my life to, if I really wanted to use all of this, it would take me the rest of my life. Like, I'm being honest with you. Hoarding makeup is wasteful. It's enjoyable slash wasteful. I feel I'm like split between it's crazy fun and crazy crazy. Why, I, why do I have so much makeup? <laughs> More highlighters. Again, BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm. And so, so if you get BoxyCharm, you can really fill up your cloak collection in a year. I mean, really. Plus, if you're already buying things here and there, like these I bought, you can get a lot of products before you know it. I would cancel BoxyCharm, but I love it so much, and I love doing a monthly giveaway. That is why I keep getting BoxyCharm. I just, I love doing the giveaways every month. Then down here are eyeshadow palettes. Some of these are pretty darn old, I will not lie to you. I stretch expiration dates, but I also feel like I'm not the average makeup user. Like, I keep everything really organized, really clean. I sanitize, like, twice a year I go through and I sanitize all of my makeup, wipe it all down, spray it with alcohol. Like, I try to take excellent care of my makeup because this is a collection. This isn't just, like, your typical makeup bag. This is literally a collection. More eyeshadow palettes, big ones, BH Cosmetics, Morphe, 
Violet Voss, got that in BoxyCharm, and then my custom palette that I don't think I've ever used. A lot of those came in BoxyCharm, things I slowly purchased over the years, and I've literally, I, I think I've played with it like one time. Then my final eyeshadow drawer here, just some random little smaller palettes, and this one's magnetized together. So yeah, all kinds of goodies in here. If there's any select products you want to know more about, just let me know. Then up here is just like random, like a little notebook if I need to make notes, if I think of anything. Stickers, I try to date things when I get them. I'm not 100% with it, but I try. Little lip plumpers, little powder puff, super glue. This comes in so handy all the time. All the time. Hair clips to put my hair back. My false lashes. I don't have a ton. I don't wear these that often. But yeah, that's just kind of like the random drawer. Down here, I mainly just keep um, declutter. There's some stuff I decluttered. I'm going to be posting that soon. And then the other ones are literally just empty BoxyCharm boxes because a lot of times I'll use them to send out the giveaway items. But yeah, guys, that is everything in my collection. I don't feel like it's crazy. I. For those of you who may be watching it who have like, you know, two lipsticks and one powder compact, you're like, girl, you're nuts. I definitely know some of my friends walk in and are like, oh my gosh, you have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of makeup. I will not lie. Uh, it's definitely like a collection thing. It's a passion thing. I just want to throw out there, I do not recommend most people have this much makeup. There's really no need to have this much makeup. I could spend the rest of my life using up this makeup. Uh... That is why I've really slowed my roll with the purchasing because I don't want to be wasteful. I don't like being wasteful. I know my friend Christina has talked about that on her channel too. When you when you're a small YouTuber on YouTube, duh. I just yeah. <laughs> you do feel, especially I feel like in your first few years of doing it, you're trying to like find your groove and figure out what your channel is, and you're trying to compete with the big YouTubers, which means, oh my gosh, I've got to do uh, first impressions, I've got to do new product reviews, I've got to try to get the new product that's come out to get noticed, and I definitely fell into that my first few years on YouTube. I really, really did. So I was trying to buy all the new products, and sadly it probably took me longer than it should to realize that is not how my channel is going to work out, that's not how I'm going to get attention, because they get the products before they even launch. So by the time I've got the product and done the video, there's 800 other videos up there. So. Yeah, I've definitely in the last year since moving here to this house, I've just realized like that's not how I'm going to do this. That's not my cup of tea. Obviously, there's still going to be some new products that I just really want to try out and test out for you guys. So it's not like I'll never buy new products, but it's more like there's no point in buying them all the time. Now, if I was some big YouTuber getting them sent to me, I'd be doing crazy first impression reviews all the time. My husband and I work too hard for our money for me to try to compete with people who are getting everything for free. So, um, yeah. And the last thing I want to show you is this wall over here. Because I really love how this turned out. This board I got from Dollar General. And I think it's like a picture board, but I just like how it looks by itself. These cute little lights are from the Dollar Area Target. Then the perfume bottles are from... Dollar Tree, I believe, and then the Choose Joy and the Be Thankful are from Dollar General. The Happiness is Free, I believe it's also Dollar General. This one here and these two here, I painted from our old house. I painted when I lived at our old house and they were in my makeup room there. I just thought it was kind of fun. I like that runny watercolor kind of look and I felt the need to bust out some paints that I hadn't used in forever. So I just put BU and then a little XOXO with some lips. Then this, uh, my brother's mom gave to me when I was a little kid. So I, I just love it so much. And I thought it was so cute in the background since my channel's name is Laney Lashes. It's perfect. Then this is one of her necklaces also. I felt like there's just like a little blank space here. It needed something. So that's her necklace. This is actually from... I believe she told me it was from the 60s, hand beaded. And then this is my mom's dress. If you're new here, my mom passed away when I was 11. So this is a dress my dad got her. And then this was her sweatshirt that I still remember her wearing all the time. 
it was a bright it's bright pink and it says duh and I just I can't I could not get rid of these two things so I was like you know I'm gonna frame them I'm gonna use them back here sorry about the glare but I just I think that turned out so cute and I think it looks good behind my videos I really like it but yeah honestly now I'm kind of glad that my video got deleted because I've been wanting to do this for so long and for some reason I've just been pushing it off probably a little bit because you know, some people are going to judge you when they see how much makeup you have. I like, I know, there's probably somebody in the comments spouting off about how it's stupid or wasteful, but you know what? Oh well. Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one. <laughs> I hope the Lash Fam enjoyed seeing this video. I'm really glad I decided to share it with you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the products I have, or like I said, if you want to see any reviews, first impressions wear tests, whatever of any of these products, just leave it down below. Seriously, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So sorry about the late upload, but like I said, sometimes I think things happen for a reason, so now I'm glad that video got deleted. Okay, guys, that is everything. As always, please try to stay positive, because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.